Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your line art without even using a stylus. If you happen to have a stylus, that's great. You can use the pressure sensitivity of it for creating interesting line art. If you don't, there's no need to worry because I will teach you the procedure today. First, I'm going to do the rough sketching from baseline. Then make a normal line art out of it. Then I'm going to show you how to make it look much better. I have used deep pen hard for sketching and also the line art. If you are interested in knowing how to do the line art from scratch and want to know some extra tips, you can always check out the playlist above where I have listed all the videos related to line art. Now that we are done with the simple line art, time to spice it up. First, we're going to make some parts thicker to show that those areas are darker, aka the parts where the shadow has fallen. Positions of the dark areas depend on the light source, so it's important to remember that. There are some typical positions where you always can add thicker lines. For example, the corner and the middle of the leaves, the neck area, and any part where two lines are joining. We're going to make those parts thicker to add more volume to the line. I'm sure you can already tell that the line art is looking much better. Now we're going to move to the next segment where 
we're going to use one of the special pens. Yes, we're going to use the shrink pen to make the lines look thinner. There's a saying that less is more. And with this process, we're going to make the most out of it. Making the lines look thinner is more of a stylized approach. So there's no hard and fast rule for applying this to specific areas. Still, there are few areas which generally look better when the line is thinner. For example, the lower outline of the eye, the outline of the lip, the beginning of the hair strands, etc. Except for these areas, I personally thin out the lines instinctively. So my suggestion to you would be doing it where you feel like it's going to look nice. But do not apply it everywhere. Then it's going to look super weird. So make sure there is a good balance between thick lines and thin lines and of course the normal lines as well. If you think the line art is looking weird or going on a direction that you didn't want, then just use the liquify pen to correct the positioning. The eyes are very important in case of making your art look beautiful. So if you want to add thicker eyelashes, go ahead. I almost forgot to improve the outfit and I'm going to do the same thing as before, thinning out some parts and keep the rest normal. Finally, we have 
finished improving the line art. And now, the moment of truth, the comparison time. I'm keeping the line art side to side so that you can see which one looks better and more interesting. I'm sure you can tell which one it is. So in conclusion, I want to say, why stick to normal line art when you can make it so much better? And you don't even need stylus for that. You can create your own cool line art just using this simple method. I really hope you would apply this to your art and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you do so. I would love to see them. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.